Good afternoon guys, it's, uh, it's about 20 past five now. It's Tuesday the 20th of August today. Back down the reservoir as you can see. Um, now, we've ended up, as you, you may recognize it, it's, it's the same peg as we fished last week. Didn't intend fishing here at all. Um, intended on fishing the other half of the reservoir. But it's pretty rammed up there. Uh, and then we walked down the bank uh, over this side and that's pretty rammed as well. Um, so, but we're here now, so we've ended up in this same swim. At least we know the areas to fish, and that it's clear we haven't had to rake. Um, so, that being that, we're looking at tench fishing again, pretty much primarily, I think. One thing also to mention is, I did say at the end of the last video, I'll see you at the weekend. Well, I did get out of the weekend, um, not when I intended with the weather as it was. Um, just nipped over the road to the marina on Saturday evening. Um, and it was fishing reasonably well. Um, I was catching silvers. Um, uh, I did have a roach about nine ounces, which is probably the fish of the evening. Uh, but nothing too spectacular, um, hence why I haven't made a video. Um, but uh, enough of me talking anyway. Um, I'm going to get, uh, you see, James is. Uh, just getting set up and uh, finding a few spots so uh, I'm going to do the same and uh, I'll catch up with you in a minute. beyond like raking range. It's not too weak. Oh yeah, slow rock. I can't, be, I can't be doing I can't be doing doing nothing. That makes sense. <laughs> Well, it's fish here. There's fish there. Not big enough to eat two maggots, mm. clearly. <laughs> oh, there's no one for to fry. Yeah. They're not up in the water, though. They're definitely further down. Not until it sinks down there, I've got a bite. Don't know if I haven't seen any tents, but I've seen them roll near us. One over there, one to the right and there. I'm getting the baiting pyramid going. Oh, yeah. I don't feel too small either, to be honest. Just sort of flashing it. 
Oh no, it's a nice perch. Bloody hell, it's a good one that is. Big cracking perch there. Eh? Oh, nice oh, that's one. I think. Yeah, if I'm getting that flake, man. Wow. Well, guys, uh, I was struggling to be honest, sitting behind uh, rods that weren't moving, bobbins that are not moving. We're both struggling on the tench front. Um, I'm fishing closer in, James fishing further out, but we're really struggling. There's quite a few people here, and nobody's catching anything. The water's fairly cold. Compared to last week, it's, it's pretty cold. So I nipped back to the car, changed my hat because I had a cold head, and uh, got my float rod. And I've just had this absolute stonking perch. Really pleased with that. It's about that. <laughs> Beautiful condition, too. It's probably just about a pound. But wow. Really, really pleased with that. Really glad I went and got my float rod. So uh, I'm going to persevere with that. Fantastic. It's all that fizzing coming up. Definitely bubbling up, isn't it? Right there. That should def the def float out for a minute and bang both <laughs> rods out there. Oh, just tip banging away on this rod. <laughs> Definitely fish down there, isn't it? Proper bang then. That's it. Maybe I'm closing again, aren't I? It's just that light's going down. Mm. Come on, stick your heads back. Oh yes, I was just about to say stick your heads back up and we've got to see what's going on and not just some big patch bubbles. Huh? And that's just about two foot short of it. Yep. Yeah. That pop-up corn. 
<laughs> Straight away, that was. They were definitely close to in, aren't they? Straight away, yeah. Can't be crossing over to the road. You need to move them back. I think I might have just caught the rod. Alright. Piddler. Nice one. Definitely what's fizzing out up there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that bait you put out, isn't it? Yeah. Springs straight onto it. Well, that's that rod I just cast. Mm. Cool. Well gosh, <laughs> James noticed some fizzing on the bait I'd been putting out and uh, chucked, chucked both the method rods on it, put the float rod away and uh, one of them had a fake bit of pop-up corn on and I've got this lovely dark green fella. <laughs> no monster but very welcome and hopefully as the uh, clouds come over and the sun's going down, it's starting to come on the feed now, it's gone half seven. Fantastic. Right, let's get him back and hopefully have a few more. Well excited when he said, oh that's a big run. Did you see it? Thought, oh great. It feels, a fluffy it feels like a perch, but yeah. <laughs> if it's a big rod, I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I could see this big deep body thing there. Mm. I thought it was all flashy gold and orange, but the orange was obviously in the perch is uh... <laughs> yeah. been a ruddy wind bleep here, so well, no, right now it's just come up in the water. It's not very big. Feels very perchy. Yeah. Not down there, look. They're decent ones, are they? They're not small little ones. Small little ones. Oh, actually, it's not, it's not small as I thought it was. Should have used the net then. Yeah, I thought that hasn't settled properly. Yeah, that's right. Since it's got older, that. Mm. Yeah. Jeez. I think it's a perch. It's it's perch. It is. Good one, I feel. Yeah, that's nice. Definitely did stamp a perch down there. Yeah, that's nice. Bigger than the one you had last time. Oh, that's same right. one. So yeah, it's probably the same <laughs> one. I don't know if it's that dumb, but it might be. <laughs> well, guys, the bubbling all stopped, and uh, so I broke out the float rod again, as I'm very impatient. <laughs> um, I just had a smaller perch, and uh, <laughs> careful. Did a bit of juggling, but uh, just had that fella. Another beautiful, beautiful stripey. Fantastic. Some lovely perch down here, only fishing very close into the edge, but as you can see it's very rocky, so they, uh, they clearly like it down there. There's lots of fry in the edge too. That's fantastic. A couple of perch around the pine mark. 
really pleased with that. Well guys, I think we're going to call it a day at that. Uh, it's just got dark as you can see. Um, there's rats running by, <laughs> around my feet. Um, not quite the session we anticipated, although shouldn't have been too surprised really with the rain that we had at the weekend, the winds and cold weather. Uh, it's put the water temperatures down, so you know it was always going to be tricky uh, and, and it's proved to be tricky. But uh, I can't complain, I had two lovely perch and I did manage to tench out in the end as well. Um, they have been rolling, but uh, they're just not interested. They're really not interested. I've spoken to a few of the other guys fishing as well, and they were saying they're really struggling. Um, today they're being really finicky. Um, but you know, I did manage to get that one out. So uh, as I say, I can't complain. Two lovely perch, and uh, a few a few wasps as well. Um, now I think the next time I'm out will be this weekend. So until then, all there's left to do is to say thank you very much for watching. Tight lines. Enjoy your own angling and I'll see you again at the weekend.